Hello, everybody. I'm Mr. Wally of the Medford Library of the Jackson County Library Services. How are you doing today? Welcome to the library. It's so good to see you. Well, we're here today to gather around and listen to a story. Today's story is of the three little pigs. This is how the tale goes. Once upon a time there was, twice upon a time there wasn't, a family of pigs. There was the mama pig, and there were the three brothers. Whew. Let me tell you, those brothers were a handful. Up and down the stairs, in and out of the house. Oh, the mother pig, she was just, oh, she just had her hands full. You know, just, hey, little pigs, little pigs, quit jumping on the couch. Or it's like, hey, little pigs, little pigs, please, no, no more noise. Or little pigs, little pigs, what are you doing running around in the kitchen? Stop. So one day she finally put her foot down. <clears throat> That's it. You guys are done. The monos, it's time for you to go off into the world. But before you do, I have three things to tell you. One, be kind to everyone you meet. Two, this one's, this one's tough, but go off and make something of yourselves in the world. It's a beautiful world out there. Go do something great. And three, the most important, beware of the big bad wolf. Mmm, he has a bit of a taste for for pulled pork sandwiches, and mm, he's not going to be a friend of yours. So, remember what I said, beware. And with that, she kicked him out of the house, and she closed the door. Well, that left the three pigs wondering, well, what are we going to do? Go off into the world and make something of ourselves. Hmm. Well, the youngest, he went on down the road. He was filled with all sorts of self-importance. He had his little sharp vest on and had a penny whistle in his pocket and says, I'm going to go off and do something with myself. Yes, I am. Then he walked a little ways, not very far at all. He found himself a field. He said, this is where I'm going to build a house. And he stood there waiting for something to happen. Well, something happened right away. The farmer was coming across the field and he was pulling a cart. And in the cart was a huge pile of straw. Little pig called out to the farmer, Mr. Farmer, Mr. Farmer, where are you going with that straw? The farmer looked at the little pig. Why, are you interested in buying it, perhaps? Yes, please, leave it right here. I'll pay you handsomely for that straw. And the farmer dumped all the straw in the field. And the pig paid him, and the pig took some of the straw and made bundles and put all the bundles together to make a wall, and another wall, another wall, and a door, and put a roof on it. Got out his penny whistle, and he was playing away. Oh, he was just as happy as happy could be. And with that, he said, I think I've made my way in the world. Well, meanwhile, second brother went down the road, not too much further. And he found himself a stand of trees. And he looked inside and says, that's a good-looking place. It's a little meadow, a little flowers. It'd be a great place to build a house. So he stood there and he waited for something to happen. Well, he didn't have to wait too long. As a woodcutter was walking across the, the meadow and the little pig called out, Mr. Woodcutter, what are you gonna do with all those sticks on your back? The woodcutter looked, up, looked over to him and says, well, I don't know, little pig. I was gonna go to the market with them. The little pig looked at him and said, please just leave the sticks behind. I'll, I'll, I'll pay you handsomely for them. Well, with that, you know, the pig, the pig got himself a big, a big, a big bundle of, of sticks, and you know, he took some grasses and things and wove all the sticks together to make walls. And he made one, two, three, four walls, and he made himself a little door with a little roof on it. As happy as, as a clam. He just was oh, very, very content. And he got out of his squeeze box, and he played and played and played. And he says, I guess this is what it means to make your way in the world. The oldest, oldest pig, uh, he decided to go a little bit further up the road, long ways up the road. Got to the top of a hill. He stood there and he looked around. He says, I think I could see almost anything coming from up here. So with that, he went down to the market. He didn't wait for somebody to 
bring something to him. And he went down and negotiated for some bricks and he got himself a stout oak door and some really solid looking windows. Huge cast iron kettle with a lid on it. Had someone haul it back up to the top of the hill. Yeah, his mother was pretty proud. He may, uh, may have been a bit of a, a wild thing, but he was a hard worker. He spent the whole day putting up a house. Solid walls. Solid door. Windows that went up and down with that kettle inside the fireplace. And then he went back down to the market. He got himself a piano and had someone haul that back up to the hill. He had it put inside the house and after all the work was over at the end of the day, he was playing the piano. He was pretty content too. Happy as the day is long in the summertime. Well, let's not, let's not forget. In this story, there's a big bad wolf. And yes, he was a hungry big bad wolf. And he knew those pigs were out and about in the world. Somehow he could just, just tell. And he walked down the same road that those pigs were walking on earlier. And he looked off into the field. And sure enough, there was the youngest pig just playing away. While the little pig looked up. And he saw that wolf coming. He ran inside the house. Closed the door. The wolf came walking up and ch -ch 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 -ch. Little pig, little pig, can I come on in? Mm-mm, we're not, I'm not supposed to talk to you, said the little pig. Little pig, <laughs> that's not being very hospitable. I just came by to eat you up. Come on, let me on in. Mmm, little pig, little pig, you're going to let me on in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the little pig. Well, then I'm going to have to huff and I'm going to have to puff and I'm going to blow your house in. And with that, the wolf took a big puff. <sighs> Blew that straw house all over. And the wolf started digging around inside that straw. And a little pig jumped out the back, ran across the field, and ran down the road, calling out for his brother. Well, he found his brother in the, in the woods, and the brother was playing his squeeze boss. He said, Hey, the wolf is coming, the wolf is coming, as they ran inside the house. He closed the door. Well, the, the wolf was coming. He's running and running and running right behind. You know, he finally catches up with him. But he's got manners. He knocks on the door. Chum, 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 chum. Little pigs? Little pigs? Are you it? Oh, no, we're not here. No, 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 little pigs, little pigs. Oh, you're not being very hospitable. I'm just here to eat you up. Well, we're not available to be eaten today, said the little pigs. Hmm. Little pigs? Little pigs? Are you going to let me in? Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin, said the pigs. Well, highly unfortunate, because I'm going to huff and I'm going to puff and I'm going to blow your house in. And with that, he took a huff and he took a puff. Then he blew. Blew that house of sticks all over the meadow. Well, the wolf started digging around there, thinking, ah, two for one right here. So the little pigs, they ran out of the back and they ran down the road and up the hill, calling out for their brother. Brother, brother, the wolf is coming. Well, the oldest pig, he saw, he saw this one coming a long time back. And he rounded his brothers up and they ran inside the house and they closed the door and bolted it. They got a fire going underneath that big cast iron kettle. They closed all the windows and they got ready. Well, the wolf was coming. And he ran up the hill, ran, I mean, now granted, this guy's been running all day. He's been huffing and puffing. He got to that house, and he was a little bit tired. But, you know, he's still, little pigs, little pigs, are you in? No, we're not here. We're not supposed to speak to you, the little pigs. Well, you're not being very hospitable. I've come a long way. I'm really hungry. I'm just here to eat you up. No, 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 no. We're not available to be eaten today. Go away. Hmm. Well, little pigs, little pigs, are you in? Are you in? Shh, I can hear you. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Hmm. Well, then I'm going to have to huff, and I'm going to have to puff, and I'm going to have to blow your house, and I blew the 
straw house down. I blew the stick house down. I'm coming on in. And he took a puff. And he took another one. And maybe one more. What do you think? Do you think he was able to knock down that house of bricks? Oh, well, little pigs, I'm coming in one way or the other. And the wolf took another big puff. Then another puff. One more big, big, big puff. Still wasn't able to knock down that house of bricks. By this time, though, he was he was more than just hungry, and he was more than just tired. He was mad, and he climbed up on the roof of that house, and he went over to the chimney, and he started to make his way down. Well, about that time, the, the piggies, they, they got the lid off that kettle, and the wolf dropped into that water, and it was hot, hotter than anything that wolf had ever dropped into before, and he jumped out of, oh, Ooh, and the pigs open up the door and the wolf went running down the hill. Oh! And he went running and running and running and running. And as far as I can tell, he's running to this very day. Now, as far as those pigs are concerned, well, they're brothers. They get along. The little pig, he still likes to play his penny whistle. And the middle brother, he loves to get on his squeeze box. And the oldest brother, well, you know, when the work is done at the end of the day, He'll sit down at the piano and play right along with those brothers, just making beautiful music for this very day. And snip, snap, snout, the tale is told out.